podcasting just another fad? Or something like astrology, a lot of fun if you don't take it too seriously. No, testing is based on sound science. Astrology has been disproved again and again. Different authorities suggest different times when testing started. We know that in 100 BC, Imperial China tested workers in areas such as archery, music, writing, arithmetic, rituals and horse riding, skills which are of doubtful importance in European government nowadays. Fast forward to 1883, when Sir Francis Galton, a follower of Charles Darwin, set up a temporary laboratory to test the intelligence of the British population. In the early 20th century, Alfred Binet created tests for use with schoolchildren in France. The US Armed Forces started testing recruits in 1917. And Germany and Switzerland pioneered testing of mental health. Many different tests of personality were published internationally in the late 1930s, while testing in businesses really took off in the 1950s. Since then, new ways of testing have come thick and fast. Using digital technology tests administered via PC, the internet and increasingly handheld devices. New assessments of areas such as emotional intelligence and prejudice. Testing is undergoing a revolution as it becomes more useful in helping people make life-changing decisions in a society that never stays still. The European Test Publishers Group improving European testing.